keep a good attitude when it's not happening as fast as you would like. David said, God, my times are in your hands. It's very powerful when you can say, God, I not only trust your ways, but I trust your timing. I know at the right time, when I'm ready, when I can handle it, you will take me to new levels of my destiny. Forget them. They are lying and they are untrustworthy. So move on. You've got to see them for what they are. That person is not who you thought they were. So move on and at the risk of sounding callous, get over it. You don't need everyone that you think you need. You're depending on too many people. You don't need all of your coworkers to support you. You don't have to have all your friends and family members cheering you on. The less you depend on people, the greater the anointing in your life. If you've ever been good to somebody who wasn't good back, if you've ever poured yourself into an individual, a company, a place or thing, and didn't get the results you expected, if you've ever had a moment in your life that you have measured yourself and come up short, this message is for you. If you've ever given your best to somebody and they act like it wasn't nothing at all, then this one is for you. You cannot hang out with a bunch of defeated, going nowhere, no vision men and be an overcomer. You are who you hang around. I want you to listen at them and think about you. Because it is possible to develop a mentality to fit your environment that simply makes the best of a bad situation. I'm not happy. I'm not getting the most out of my life. So I'm going to bring my expectation down to my reality and enjoy the fact that at least they didn't carry me off to the board today. I'm still here. No one is such a real enemy as a false friend. The worst thing you can do when somebody hurts you, listen, the worst thing you can do is to harbor your hurt because harbored hurt becomes burden bitterness. Not most of the time, not a lot of the time, every single time. If somebody hurts you and you hold it in and you brood over it, harbored hurt becomes burden bitterness. When someone breaks our trust, we question ourselves too. Like we think my judgment's bad because I totally put my faith in this person and look what they did to me. So you've got to build that trust up back again with yourself. How do you do that? Read, learn, work out, be alone. It's okay to be alone. It's okay. There's no big deal. Enjoy it. Do something productive and build that trust up in yourself. You know, look back at the situation, learn from it. You have been disappointed over and over and over again. And every time you try, you come up short. And some of us have tried, got blocked. Tried, got blocked. Tried, got blocked. And I tried so hard and I still got looked over. And don't you know it's hard when your expectation has been damaged by disappointment. It's a slow damage. It's a slow tearing of the muscle fibers. It is not one event that creates it. It's over and over. I tried and I tried and I stayed and I disciplined and I showed up. And, and the man has finally gotten to a place where he is tired of trying. You must be very intentional and deliberate. You're not gonna wake up one day and find a law degree. You gonna have to work for it. And your problem is, you wake up on Monday, you might be strong, but by Wednesday, you're not intentional and deliberate. You are hoping that the best is gonna to happen to you and the best never happens to you. If you look in the mirror tomorrow and say that, you will change. Because nobody likes thinking of themselves as a failure. I don't want you to keep doing dumb stuff and say, my life is miserable. No, your life is not miserable. Your ability to make adjustments, to make corrections is messed up. And you're too slow. You're too casual. You think too much. You need to get in a hurry. The separator is going to be who takes massive action quickly. They print money. They don't print time. They don't print opportunities. You can lose money and get it back. You can't get time back. You can't get experiences back. Average people focus on money. The great focus on time, because I can't get my time back. If for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, what would you be like? What would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? You'd be 10 times more efficient. You have no idea how efficient, efficient people get. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That it's necessary, that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative.
the people that are living their dream of finding winners to attach themselves to, the people that are living their dreams of a people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. The people that are running out to their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that are running after their dreams are the people that are hungry. The key is time is precious. Life is not just the passing of time. Life is a collection of experience, their frequency and their intensity. Life is not just watching the clock tick away. Life is a collection of experiences, their intensity, their frequency. When should you start the day? As soon as you have it finished. Plan the day the best you can, leaving plenty of room for improvising and surprises and all the stuff that happens during the course of the day. But if you've planned a good productive day, now you start that day, you can't believe how much more valuable your time will be. Don't start the day until you have it finished. Now here's the next one. Don't start the week until you've had it finished. Now to lay out a week is a pretty good challenge. And then here's the big one. This is really challenging. Don't start the year until you have it finished. To the best of your ability, it can't be finished like minute by minute. But in terms of the sweep of what you want to accomplish, make sure that that's set and ready to go by the time January 1st rolls around. And it might get all upset. It might get torn up and you do a new one. You make so much progress the first 90 days that now you've got, you've multiplied it all by two by three. Because that happened to me. I thought, wow, here's how, this is going to be a great year. By the time I'd finished the third month, I'm rolling, I'm sore. So many things are happening. I revised my whole year's next key to time management. And that's work longer and harder. But see, there's a limit to that. I almost lost my health the first year. I went so crazy about personal development and achievement. I just went bonkers. You know, I told you I was skinny. By the end of that first year, I was a walking shadow. And then it suddenly occurred to me, what if I got rich and too ill to spend it? I mean, that was a shocker. So I started, you know, developing a little more reasonable. Because I said, if 12 hours won't do it, I'll work 14. If that won't do it, I'll work 18. I mean, how many hours it takes. And sure enough, it cost me too much. So see, working longer and harder for some might be appropriate. Here's the key, not to work harder, but smarter. We give up so quickly. The first time we get turned away, we go home. The first person that doesn't like us, the first person that doesn't help us, the first time it gets a little hard, many of us are so quick to see disappointment as a dead end. If you can't get in, go up. If you can't get through on this level, go up to a higher level. Sometimes the reason God allows you to be restricted is because you're at the wrong level. And sometimes he'll put a disappointment in your life, so you have to climb over it. Restoration will come. Healing will come if you won't give up. Anytime trouble comes, anytime heartache comes, anytime disappointment hits their life, rather than face it and walk through it, they quit, they back down, and they waste their pain. Pain has a purpose. Don't let your pain define you. Let your pain refine you. People, they go through something that was supposed to be a season, but instead of it being a season, it dictates their entire life. You met people that instead of getting better, they just got bitter because of the pain. Before you know it, their entire identity is wrapped around their issue. It's wrapped around this moment of heartache, this moment of disappointment. You've met people that have been betrayed by a friend, and instead of forgiving, instead of rising back up, instead of being the friend that they're looking for, they isolate and they back down. You meet people that their dreams never came to pass, and because the dreams never came to pass, they just now become a critic of anybody else who goes for their dreams. Stay on your path, stay positive, stay encouraged, keep praying. I want you to start praying specific prayers and that way you're going to start witnessing God bless you specifically. Don't feel like you're being greedy or over the top. It's beautiful to recognize when you're blessed, but it's okay to start asking for a blessing. And so right now in this era where we are, the people that are going to come out on top, the people that are going to get control of their destiny. The people that are going to maximize this place in history and be fortified in terms of their mental resolve and families and their skills and their ability to create incredible wealth are people that are using their times more productively.
the people who take the time to learn something new every day. If you're not willing to learn, nobody can help you. If you're willing to learn, no one can stop you. 80% of the things we do are busy things that we do in an area that is not effective. The average person only spends 20% of their time doing the thing that they are really gifted at, created at, excited to do. And the rest of it is all the dumb stuff that we all have to do in order to survive. Wonder what would happen if we would go from doing 80% of things that are busy but not effective and 20% of the things that are really effective if we would switch those numbers around and only give 20% of our time to the things that we have to do and 80% of our time to the thing that we were created to do. If you'll be faithful, if you'll be disciplined when the amounts are small, we'll make you a ruler, give you a position of authority when the amounts are many. Take care of your disciplines when the amounts are small, and then life will see to it that you get some extraordinary numbers to work with. Do not disregard the smallest of disciplines. Do not neglect the smallest of disciplines and build on that foundation, and you can have everything you could possibly want. Get going. Don't stop at where you are as if it were the destination, when in fact, in reality, it may be the transportation that brings you into that thing you were created to do. Friend, the fourth thing you can do when somebody hurts. You listen, the fourth thing you can do the do is to herbal but hurt because herb dates hurt became burden. Bitterness not most of the time, not a lot the of time, every single time. If somebody hurts you and you hold it in and you brood over it, hard dead hard becomes burdened. Bitterness for gain, for gain breaks our truth. We question over else. To like we think my judel spent bad because I totally put my fate on the in this person and look what they did to me. So you got to build that trust up back again with yourself. How do you do that? Read, learn, work, but be alone. It's okay to be alone. It's okay. Not a big deal. Enjoy it. Do something productive and build the trust up in yourself. And you know, look back at situation, learn from it. You have been disappointed over and over and over again. And every time you try, you come up short. And some of us have tried it, got blocked it. Tried, got blocked it, try, got blocked it, and I tried so hard and I still go, got looked it over and don't you know, it's hard been, expectation has been damaged by disappointed, disappointment, it's a slow damage, slow train of the musical fibers. It's a not a even that creation. It's over and over. I trade and I trade and I said and I disappointed and I showered up and the man has finally gotten to be to a places where he had tried of trying. You must be very international and deliberate. You are not going to wake up. One day you find a law degree, you are gonna have to work Richmond. And problem is you wake up and mandate.